Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the dget function. As with many uh, functions in Excel, uh, the fact that this begins with a D makes it a database function. And uh, so what we have is a small database here, and uh, here's our table. And we have our criteria set up this way, and notice we have the headings that have to exactly match the headings in our database, and then the criteria listed below. I set them up with data validation just to make them easy to choose. So if we take a look at what the dget function is, it says it extracts from a database a single record. Notice the fact that it's a single record that matches the conditions you specify. So if I hit tab, it wants us to define our database, which we can do by highlighting that. Our field that we want to uh, extract from is going to be the sales field. So I just click on the heading for that field, hit comma again, and now our criteria, I highlight that criteria there. I close our parentheses, hit enter, and now anywhere that it has Tom and Dodge, or I should say where it's searching for Tom and Dodge, it found it in the very first row, and we get a match of 326, 336. If I change this to Tony, uh, it changes it to match the 948. If I change it to Ford, we have a problem because we don't have a Tony and Ford. So that's good. So Excel, uh, Excel with a dget function did not find that option available. So we're going to change this to Jack. Now Jack and Ford found 337 matches great. Now let's take a look at something interesting here. Let's say we had, um, I'm going to change this back to Tom and change this to Dodge. And again it found that first row there, 326, 336. Let's say down here we had Tommy and this was also Dodge. Notice we get a number error, and that is because the dget function found the name Tom within the name Tommy. So it uh, extracted and it found two uh, matches for the criteria that we set up. And because dget will only find a single result, it gives a number error. So you have to be careful if you're using this in a database that has very similar or potentially matching criteria, it's not going to work. If we change this to say T-H-O-M-M-Y, no problem, we're back to just having one Tom and one Dodge, and now the dget function works well. And there you have it. That's how the dget function works in Excel. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more, please, please feel free to stop by my blog, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy Excelling.